All right, everyone, round three. Let's get weird. Let's let's try to get a complete clear here. Again, quickly, let's give this guy a quick scout. So Fleet, he's using Rebels. Good Falcon, but his other Rebels aren't too great. Oh, what is this Akbar? Yeah, home one's not good, so I'll outspeed him everything there. He doesn't have Negotiator, so right off the hop, there's a good chance, a highly likely chance, I'm going to win the, sh the ship node. But his character is, he is a lot more GP than I do, and... Um, I've seen Jedi Knight Luke a few times now in um, Squad Arena, and I have yet to beat him with my gas, because um, that's all I really have to use. He's got some solid teams here. Does he have Darth Revan? No Revan, but he has Jedi Knight Luke. It'll be interesting to see if he uses them on offense and if he cannibalizes Revan and some of the other good Jedi for that team or not. So I hear that's the, the issue with Luke is the best team takes away from others. So let's, let's, uh, let's find out. All right. And again, obviously no one likes to attack to the last minute. I don't care. Let's get it over with. Um, so this here, I know he's going to have trouble taking this node. Obviously you can beat negotiate with rebels. I've shown it multiple times, but his rebels, I don't think they're quite strong enough to take mine out. Um, I, he could maybe we'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, let's, let's see what we're working with here. We got a Ray team, a grievous team. A Finn and Poe team. It's interesting. And then the Newt with the droids, which is sneaky. Droidica is always sneaky on those teams. All right. So top team I'm worried about, or the probably the best team we're going to go up against is Padme. Let's try to take it out first. Let's see if we can use something that's not. So my top teams I have safer offense is Padme, CLS, and Gas. So let's see. Uh, we could use something like that. So 319, so Padme's pretty fast. It's gonna be faster than my normal counter. No tank though, which is interesting. So if I bring in my Empire or my uh, Thrawn, Vader, Palpatine, I could fracture Anakin or Padme for that matter and take them right out of the game. Maybe I'll fracture Padme. Um, they do have the speed advantage. They should anyways. Um, let's give it a try. Again, this is a gear 12 palp, relic 3 Vader, and where is Thrawn, which is only gear 12 as well. It's This has been working for me, um, so let's, uh, let's see what we got. Alright, there's the first turn like I thought, and now they don't have protection up, but again, sometimes, I don't know, sometimes it doesn't work for me, Force Crush, let's just go into Merciless right away. And now let's start hammering on them. So force crush. Let's uh, let's try to get a big hit on Anakin. There we go. Get him Padme, and can we finish off Anakin? Ooh, not quite. See, this is where it's tricky. Do I? Ahsoka's gonna go. Anakin's gonna go too. I could fracture him and take him out. I don't know if Basic will get him. I could heal up Palpatine, but you know what? Let's just get him out. Let's just see if we can get a big hit. Okay, he's gone. That stinks we lost Padme, or uh, Pelt, but I don't think it's gonna matter now. I think we got this one in the bag. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. All right, let's just use our basic. Okay, almost at Merciless Massacre. And I need a Thrawn Fracture, there we go. Okay, it's Fracture Padme, now let's work on Ahsoka. So let's do this. Force Crush. Now, Saber Toss, beautiful. Beautiful. Let's heal up that protection. And this should end it. 
All right, so not great banner wise, but again, I'm I'm under the assumption I'm he's not going to take my fleets. So if I can just clear, I'm going to win. It doesn't matter how many banners banners I get. I just got to clear. Um, so we got a Kenobi team. This team is all defense. This team's going to hit like a wet noodle. So I just got to bring in some offense to clear that out. I don't see any issues there. Um, let's work over on this side maybe. So typically, I like to use Padme against Grievous. I'm wondering if I should do Gas though. Yeah, these are some tricky teams. I don't want to, again, I don't want to waste a good team and lose trying to get cute. I just got to clear. And I'm assuming he's not, assuming he doesn't have a big back wall because he left some pretty strong teams up front. He, he's not gonna have a whole lot more to beat me with. So let's just play it smart. I'm gonna go gas. And I'm just gonna pull Rex and Ark with me. Let's try to take out B1 quickly. Days out there. Grievous is going to do his thing. Yeah, this should be the end of B1. All right, now let's hammer on Grievous. There we go. All right, let's top two teams down from visible from a visibility standpoint, anyways. Okay, and like Ray with Droid, it's like she's not going to do a whole lot of damage. This team doesn't. See, okay, I'm actually more worried about this Newt team more than anything. Um, let's take out Newt. Let's take him out. How fast are they? One seventy four. Two seventeen. Okay, what are we going to do to take him out? we could do shock t i need the buff to spell to get the the shield off droidica let's do shock t with the other clones should be nice and fast against that slower team Stuns. There we go. Newt's gone. I'll pay the one extortion just to get it out of there. Now time to go to town. All right, let's actually swipe off that again. Droid, because I gotta get him out. Heal up fives a little bit. There we go. It's too bad Shock T has to share the clones with Anakin because she's such a fun lead. Maybe, you know, one day we'll get uh, a couple extra clones. Maybe get a Cody or rework or something like that. There's so many other clones they could add just to give Shock T her own team. All right. We got Ray and Finn left there. Who else we got over here? This Kenobi team. So 
since it all is all high relic, let's uh, let's go with my Darth Raven to just really get him good. So two gear twelves and my I think it's relic two Raven. The fear and the shocks, I should be able to get through the higher relic team here, is what I'm thinking. And bam. That was pretty easy. Gonna show off Ferris and then it's game over. All right, so we, I still got my Padme, I still got my CLS, so I still got two top teams. Let's get rid of this Bounty Hunter team just so I could see what's waiting back here. Because if it's garbage teams, I could use them to take out those other ones convincingly. Um, so let's see. Uh, what's a quick team to get rid of these Bounty Hunters? Do I want to use Jedi? I don't trust my rebels. As in, by rebels I mean Biston. I could use the backup Jedi team, which is Bastila. Maybe I'll do that. Bastila. Ahsoka and I guess maybe Ezra. That's Padme's team. Revan's team. I guess he's Ezra. I don't want to hit Dengar's gonna get stealth anyway, so I'm not gonna after him. Boss is gonna taunt soon, so I want to get a big hit on Boba to start us off. Again, I'm always gonna call every assist to Ahsoka because she's reliced and she's modded for offense. All right, I'll peel that buff off. Come on, gotta wait for him to take one more turn, I think. He already got the contract fast. That's not good. Right, I can't get past that buff or that taunt. There we go, finally. Okay, now let's try to get rid of Bulba. Oh, and it's already back. There we go. And Bulba got Bounty Hunter's Resolve. For this, say this, the same things happen to me multiple times. I don't know why I keep trying to take out this bounty hunter team with these backup Jedi's. All right, that's going a little bit better. Let's just work on boss here. He's not really doing much, but he's getting a lot of debuffs. Blows my mind sometimes. This is a gear 12 boss and a relic 5 Ahsoka. That's buff for offense and modded for offense, and I can't even get through his protection. Goes to show you why you need a good Bosk. Throw him in Houndstooth. 
as well. Alright, so I'm just gonna auto this because I'm not gonna win. That stinks. Hopefully that does not cost me. See now it's uh, feels like overkill now. Whatever whatever team I'm going to bring in next. So if Ahsoka couldn't get through, I'm going to have to like waste someone a good team here, which really really kind of bothers me. Um, all right, screw it. The team I was thinking about using before the Jedi should have just used this one. Just annihilate boss and get it over with. And isolate them. Stupid, stupid decisions like that. All right, should we be worried? What do we got going on here? Uh, and of course they got geos and I just wasted my my Treya. Yeah, I obviously still have teams that could get through that, but that's a fairly strong. Oh, it's not super strong, but normally, you know, there's not a whole lot of good back there. All right, let's see what I can do up here. This Ray team. All right, so I got CLS, Revan, and Padme. It's got th at least three really strong teams left. Oops. Okay, again, I just gotta get the ships because I know I'm gonna win that, so let's not mess around. Um, let's go. Go rev in here. Let's pick pull off. It's not gonna be very strong. Work on the other fin as well. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Elk Finn, pretty sturdy. I know my Jedi team's only geared 12, but he's taking a lot of hits. I'd love to be able to take this team out without using Padme or CLS. Love to. Just don't know if I can. Who would I use? Pretty fast. Pretty fast. All the relics. Alright. I gotta stop getting cute. I just gotta get to ships. Um, maybe I save Chewy for a different lineup and I. Or maybe I use Luke with. Bistin? And save Han and Chewie for that back wall. Luke Biston and R2. Is that funky? Let's do that. Past foresight. I go show you. Don't get cute. I've kept saying it over and over this this time, and I got cute. Now I'm gonna have to burn a good team. Burn. Just straight up bring in Han and Chew, I guess. Don't need a lead, just the two of them. Man, it's such a waste. Oh boy, he really sold out on ships. <clears throat> All right, only need three to get this one done. And again, I, I see these types of fleets on defense all the time. So I'm in the 4 million GP range and I'm still, people have no ships. This is why you gotta invest in ships. It's like. 70 banners. Just like that. Like It's insane people don't focus on this stuff. This guy's a better, obviously, character roster than me, but he has no ships.
have gone up against very many finalizers. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, they're going to be fast, that's for sure. Who do I want out of here? I want crew out of here. So the question will be, he won't be able to beat mine, so can I get enough points on this back side here to get enough banners to win? So I got Padme. I can... Technically this Mon Mothma team's stronger. I should take her out with Padme. I just know I'm not going to be able to take Geos out with anything else, or even this team. This is going to be tough beating any of these teams, to be honest. But... Let's, uh, let's maybe take out Mon Mothma. Yikes. Can I split that team up at all? I got Dooku. Who can I be with Dooku and Ventress? Beat up their counterparts maybe? Let's see. Dooku, Ventress. Do I got any other Separatists lying around? Nope. Let me throw a car or a uh, Candorous in there. Suck those buffs up. Let's go to work on Dooku. This one at least. Fast as Mon Mothma. She's kind of slow, especially she's not up to 184. I wonder. I can beat these Geos with just these two.
Hopefully I can get enough courage stacked up where I can just one hit these people, these bugs. The weakest one, probably spy. Can I get a big hit? There we go. That's nah, over. As soon as you get that one out, that health pool they have to pull from shrinks immensely. Cobble together a Kenobi team here where I could throw in clone sergeant with him. Maybe C3PO. Would that be enough to take out Mon Mothma? Let's find out. This makes sense, right? His uh, Jedi and clone allies have max health plus 70 defense. Okay. And C3. C3PO makes the most sense. I could use Mace and save C3PO for uh, a whole lot of nothing. Let's use C3PO. All right, Lando's their big hitter. Let's get some confusion on him. Let's get some confusion over here as well. Did not happen. We get some terminator removal. Fortunately, my team's gonna hit like a wet noodle, so it's gonna hard to get through them and every time we're critically hitting bigs they're getting he's getting full turn meter Gonna be able to do it. Just wasted a good team. Well, not a good team. Wasted the best of what I had left. Maybe I could get these Night Sisters with uh, man Ewoks. that turn meter going. Come on. Seems to be so annoying. Come on. Get Tal's in out of there. Oh, 
All right. Not bad. I thought we'd maybe only be able to get one or two of these teams, but it looks like we were able to get three. I got nothing left that can take Mon Mothma out. I don't think any of these teams are going to do it. Um, they just keep healing way too fast. Way too fast. Um, but you know what? Let's just try some stuff for fun. Cassian could land a lot of debuffs, but they're going to cleanse it anyway. Um, you'll never know unless you try. All right, this is removes turret meter, right? So I don't want to remove turret meter from Biggs because again, if I critical hit him, he's gonna he's just gonna get full turret meter anyway. So there we go. He's like, I gotta save that in case someone dies. There we get those debuffs out there. Big hit. Take that turn meter out. There we go. Okay, okay. What is this thinking? Okay, deal face damage all enemies and grant target other ally 100% turn meter advantage. Okay, this is gonna be a risk, but I need to take the turns. More debuffs. Oh, Cassia. Ah. All right, that was interesting. Felt a little, little glimmer of hope there on that opening thing. It did a lot better than Kenobi and Clone Sergeant did. All right, I guess I got some bounty hunters too. Who is the best one? Potency, sorry Cad Bane. What about you? IG88 critical chance. I guess. Do I have anyone else who'd be better? I think I put Cure on defense, yeah. Oh, I forgot I had this guy. Man, that would have been helpful. Do I have a rebel lineup I could use with Chewy? Man. Chewy. So, I like Sabine because she has the AOE with the stagger. She can do armor shred. Chewy, three, three poc, whatever you want to call them is good. And then Hera can heal up Sabine in theory. Let's try. Let's try. Last attempt. Hopefully we get to take a turn. And that backfired. Terrible, terrible, terrible backfire. Can't believe Chewie didn't boost them up any more than that. That's brutal. Okay. Well, there's some more thinking and uh, some more thinking and some more uh, things to potentially use in the future there. So, cross our fingers, we get the full clear. I think I think we're gonna do it. I'm only missing one here, and they're not gonna be able to do that one. And who knows if they're gonna be able to full clear me as well. So, cross my fingers, I get it, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, thanks everybody.